All right, welcome back. Uh, so last time, basically, we wrapped up Pharaoh Missoula and made it to the Ashen Capital. The capital now under the awning of a completely flame-engulfed bird tree. And I started to walk around. I, I ran into... Felt like there were things that I I was looking to pick up some stuff. I ended up grabbing another ancient dragon somber smithing stone. So actually I should see. I wonder how many of those I actually have. So I have two. I don't know how many are left on this run. I think there's a total of eight. I definitely missed the ability to get one. I think I have the ability to get one more. And so I, I was sort of doing the math on one of these things. So there's the end, the, the weapon you get for, for beating the end boss. That's one I want to take to plus 10. Um, I guess Rivers of Blood would be a good one to take to plus 10. So that's two. I don't really care about that one. So the one I was curious about was the bubbles. Um, because, you know, it was, uh, it got us through some stuff. I might still need it if I go mop up dragons or something. It's not going to do us any good at the end game because it's a faith based weapon, but you know, it's physical damage might be okay. I mean, what's it doing now? It's 276, 376, 355. Uh, sorry, that'd be 455. I did that once before. 555, 566, uh, 666, and then another 53. So that's 715-ish. And it's not bad, and it would go up. Oh, it scales pretty well with faith at a B. That's maybe that's why. Um, so, nope. Let's go do the bubble. Yeah, I'm curious what that means. You can buy new items at the twin. I mean, I don't have any souls, so let me. See, the whole thing is coming down. Who are you? Oh, now. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? Does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. But it wasn't just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh. I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now. But maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. 
I'd like to return the kindness in whatever small way I can. Please, become Elden Lord. Hugh was always saying that you were a lord to him. So slay her with the weapons he smithed. Slay the god Marika, who cursed us all. So it's kind of a heavy but touching exchange here. Like he's lost his memory. Who are you? Oh, now. And then you have the, the choice, right? Do you. You know, because you could probably talk him into doing anything at this point. Oh, she's gone. You know, oh, we never did that whole section. Um, I don't even know if I remember how to get there. Um, but she doesn't. She, you know, she, you know, even though he's not with his faculties anymore, you know, she says that we should respect his choice to stay, and. Um, and in a touching fashion, she chooses to stay as well. Does this guy just be like, oh, leave me alone? No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. Box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Go and unshackle my trapped in the sewer jail. I can kill you. Yeah, so that's, you know, I definitely have missed a chunk of the sewer hmm. might as well grab the stuff right I'll take that, I guess. I thought you could get Radon's bow. Maybe I missed that somehow. Or maybe I chose the wrong thing. I feel like I've heard that Radon's bow isn't a bad thing to use against... The Elden Beast? I don't know if that's true. I'm trying to remember where the uh, Turtle Pope is. It's at a church, but I don't remember which one. 
yeah, I never did Heroes Graves. There's so many things I'm starting to, you know, as I go through here, I'm like, yeah, you know, I was um, responding to a comment with the, um, and I forget its full username. The beginning of it is Jake, so I apologize. Um, I didn't want to, I'm, like I said, I'm really bad at remembering things. And... You know, there's a there's a talisman. I think it's called like the Golden Scarab, that helps you get like extra souls when you defeat bosses, stuff like not just bosses, anything. And I was like, yeah, no, I actually uh, I don't have it. <laughs> All right. Um. Just you just realize, yeah, like there's tons of things. I think there's probably some spells over here somewhere that I missed. Yeah, I know there's a section here I didn't get to. Um, maybe this part up here. I, yeah, I have no idea. I thought there was a cave somewhere. I couldn't remember. It's just I feel like I missed like tons of stuff. Um, yeah, but let's head back here. I'm not really sure. I mean, it gets to the point where you're like. Well, there are places I, I never got to do yet. But you sit there and you're like, um, at some point you start to like, well, if I can't do this, I'll go do that. And you start to run of, out of the other things you can do. Uh, yeah, so the woman that gives you hugs, like, I completely blanked on her thing. It's, I, I, I don't remember exactly how to get there, but... It was like, you know, you had to walk on these roots, and I was like, yeah, I'll do this later. Um, there were some giant ants. Uh, so I'm guessing it's probably underground somewhere. There's a uh, dragon fight there that, you know, I didn't do. I'm just curious. I was going to look at the stats for the bubble. <laughs> uh, now that it's all maxed out. So we got 294, 394, 395, 485, 585, 610, 710, 780. It's not bad. 780-ish, you know. Don't trust my numbers entirely. But 780 versus 296, 396, 397. 487, 587, 612-ish, 712-ish, 7, yeah, they're all the same, right? I keep doing the math like it's going to change anything and it doesn't. So I'm hearing the footsteps. Is it that thing on, is it just on the other side of this wall and that's why I hear it? What I was saying last time, you know, the visuals, they are very striking to me. I wonder how much there actually is here to do besides just sort of plow ahead. So now last time there was a gap here, I guess. I thought this was a gap and I guess now you can get across okay as a shortcut, but I don't know if there's a reason to, but I mean, like, besides my 4,000 souls, I wonder if there's anything else to be gotten from beating.
Like, does anything about that change, or is it just... I don't see the guy patrolling anymore. Or there were actually multiple guys patrolling. What do I got for... Yeah, who cares? Uh, you know what? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's go bubble on this. So this is the old skull guy who's been in the round table hold the whole time. And let's try some bubbles. Oh, interesting. And so he is here now. And I thought he was telling us, you know, sort of egging us on our way. So I, I guess, yeah, I never, I don't think understood why... He stops you here and fights you. But the interesting thing that, again, I wish I could remember where I heard this. Um, but I thought this was such an interesting touch. He fights you with things that you've gone and found in the world. Like he, like his his deal is that he 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 steals. He doesn't. You know, he takes other people's knowledge. Uh, did I not? I did in the wrong order. <laughs> so I just thought that was interesting. Um, it's like it's a little tidbit that you don't necessarily know, but that's what he's doing. <laughs> I think. It's up pretty quick. Do I got the range on this? Oh, but did I get credit for him? I died, but. It might not count. It might have died. <laughs> Touched too early. <laughs> anyway, if I look that up, you know, maybe that's not true, but I thought that was the case. So I guess I've got the Comet A's here, or whatever that spell is. I didn't know if I picked it up, but you just seemed to cast it on me. Okay, I'm probably out of range here. Oh, maybe not. Let Tish get some aggro back. Oh, we knocked him down. Let's keep him down if we can. Or I'll get killed here. Let's see if we can put him down here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I have enough for a level. Um, sure. So now I, I don't want to <laughs> talk all big. I don't want to go beat the game right now. Like, I think that's actually what would happen. Um, is this guy new? I'd be, yeah, I'd be really curious to hear how the time stuff is a part of this story. You know, I assume we traveled back when we beat Malekith. And I assume, did we, did we return to our time or did we advance time? And that's why it's so bad. I mean, like, you know, did we set the Elden Tree on fire and then 10 minutes later we're supposed to have 40 feet of ash or like. Now, the one thing I can't remember is, you know, at the top of the stairs here, we fought somebody. And I, I can't recall, do you fight him again or is it just the end game? I mean, somebody's there. Oh, that guy. Um, so, yeah, like, I don't want to... But, I mean, I guess... I got 25,000 souls. It's not like that's a bajillion souls I, I to lose. But, uh, yeah, let's... I don't know. Shabriri, let's see what he can do. Because I think we can summon that cooperator and still have Tish. I mean, let's see what happens, right? Didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold? Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord.
Oh, he goes madness. I guess he would. I mean, he's... So, when we first fought somebody here, I was like, man, I remember something here being really hard. And the first one wasn't easy, but it wasn't as hard as I remembered. And so maybe this was the one I was remembering. <laughs> I wonder if you got to jump that. It happened so fast that I don't know how you could. friend. I don't need you anymore, so let me snap your neck and cover myself in your blood so that I can keep doing what I gotta do. I've given thee courtesy enough. Frost. Now I fight as horror loom. Warrior. <laughs> Just I'm not sure what to do with that stomp. Did that not do anything to him? No, you. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. You can jump it. You just have to time it really well. Shabiri, and thank you, Tish. So it would never happen because it's counter to what a speedrun is, but I would love speedrunners to watch the videos and then do their thing that they do against bosses just to have the juxtaposition of I fight as Hora Lu, and then chunk, 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 down. I am the dragon of the elder chunk 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 down. <laughs> just be like a hot mix of tough talk followed by just a severe beatdown. So here's the thing. <laughs> I was not expecting that to just go down in one. Uh, if that's what happened, I don't even remember. I don't think I died the first time, so... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some, some runes to get that next level. I don't think I actually need that many. I don't know if that's enough, but let me, let me give it a shot. Oh, not quite. Uh, 
Uh, eh, stick with the pattern. So, I mean, this is it. Like, we're now able to just run up here. This is why we had to set everything on fire. So it would burn these thorns to get us access. Now I can, hmm, that's not what I meant to do. I'm just curious, can, like I've been saying the whole time, over level, over, but, I, the, but I'm able to summon Blasphemous Blade. That guy's got the bow. So uh, that that's the bow I was talking about. Like, I thought it was Radagon's bow. I think you sort of see his. That's a good, good call for what comes next is a two-part fight. The first part is a thing like a Radagon, I think. And it's like a guy, you know, so it's like, it's like a one-on-one -on -one combat kind of thing. Second one is the Elden Beast itself. And I think that bow is really good for the Elden Beast. I believe. I don't know. I forget the point of these towers. I know that, you know, when you beat some of these bosses, you go to them and there's something at the top and can't recall if I've been to this one before or if it wouldn't open. So I apologize if I've already been here and just forgot. Have I been here? Where are we on the let me let me look at the map. Nope. I don't recall that one being there, but maybe it was. of what we're doing. Okay. Uh, let's, um... I just want to check back here to see what we're able to grab now that we've beaten... Uh, is it here? Yeah. So the only reason why I don't want to just run in there yet, let's see what we can get. The axe or ash of war. Let's see, we can slam both hands to the ground, violently shake the earth. Blah, 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 blah. I'm probably never going to use it. So let's take that. Probably never use that either, but let's take it anyway. So I've got, I think, one ancient somber dragon. So here's the thing. Like, I, I don't want to just run in there because on the off chance I get lucky and win, whether it's through summoning help or any, whatever it is, what's going to happen is I'm going to be forced into the madness ending which I don't know if I want I don't even I don't remember which is the right which is uh, something I don't know if I want now I 
wonder if I can, you know, I, I'd feel bad um, summoning here because I'd feel bad summoning here because I still haven't figured out how to not instantly die in phase two. So let me, oh, let me try what a mimic tier when we got two blasphemous blades going. I'm just curious. This is not, uh, what do I got for souls? Who cares? All right. Just curious. Takes this guy longer to show up, so. There you go. Get some blasphemous blade going, baby. That's what we're here for. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't do that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. There you go. Double team. Nope, I'm out. Nah, that sucks. Not as durable. Or I'm not doing as much blasphemous blade, so it's partly on me. So the question is, can I... Okay, so let me... Get away, get away, get away. Is that the trick? Now, can I summon... No. Okay, so I got the trick at least. <laughs> of how not to die instantly. down. Okay. So let me, let me see who I can summon because I, since I won't die immediately, which is the thing I would feel bad about. Why not give it a shot? Uh, inventory. Let's get this back in our Um, yeah, let's, let's use that. I wanted to put it back into my hotbar, I guess. But the question is again, yeah, have I over leveled? I don't even know what level I am. I'm level 140. That doesn't seem crazy, to be honest with you. So I think the Mimic tier wasn't using Blasphemous Blade enough to make it worth it. And the other thing it wasn't doing that Tish can do is it Tish dodges. Uh, so basically, if there was a second gold sign, I'd start bringing people in because I think you can bring two in. Yeah, let's see. Let me see if I can get some people here. Bring in Cup. And bring in Hermione. I think that's how you say it. I am not a uh, Harry Potter fan, I will say. I've sort of tried the first book. Didn't necessarily jump out at me. Uh, so I think it's pronounced Hermione. Hoping this. Hey! Here we 
go. Let's see what happens. Alright. Neither one of them is let me solo her, so I guess we're in this together. See, now that person knows how to dodge, so <laughs> something I can't do. So you just had to be careful of who was going after. It didn't go after me, so I didn't worry about it so much. Which I'm sort of thankful for. This might not work very well against... I'm not doing shit. <laughs> it's more important that I just stay alive. <laughs> that is it. Now, do you take Melania's dear Mikola? Oh, dearest Mikola, my brother. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. <laughs> That's what I love about these games. I love, love, love the Souls games. And most of all, like, I'm not the person that's like, no, I got to beat it solo. No, that's not me. I'm like, you know what? People want to co-op, bring them in. Let's beat the living crap out of them. I might not contribute that much. But the benevolence of uh, community makes it so... Like I said, if I can do it, anybody can. And I didn't do it. You know, all I did is... I was, you know, fortunate enough to find people and I just, you know, did what I could to support and, uh, and that is okay. That is okay. That's how I beat Melania on the PlayStation 5. I just, I don't know if I had the Blasphemous Blade. I might have had Rivers of Blood. That's what I remember fighting a lot of these end guys with Rivers of Blood. Elden Beast, Melania, I, I, and part of it is because you can just spam the living crap out of it, right? Now, if so, there's some like story going on where like like somehow the things get reborn as the the Scarlet Plant, 
or something. I, I don't know. So now the trick is we need, we need Millicent and I don't know where Millicent is. But if we can talk to Millicent, I think we can get like an, a needle. If we can get the needle, um, we can do one of two things. One, I think it's the needle we need to cure the frenzy on our back. Two, you can use the needle in that plant in there and get another ancient dragon, somber, blah, blah, blah. So let's go back here. Let's see what we can get for this. Um, these these things we just picked up. I think it's this way. Okay, so we have two options. One is her sword, which I think you kind of want the sword. Because it lets you do her crazy attack. Although I think Rivers of Blood is still like the preferred go-to weapon, if that makes any sense. Just because of the way you can spam it. And that's why I went with <laughs> Rivers of Blood, as why I'm doing, you know, Blasphemous Blade here. Because it's just a spam it baby kind of weapon. You know, I'm not um I'm not here for the panache or the subtlety or the the grace of the game, so to speak. Um I'm more of the, you know, chew gum and kick ass and I'm can't chew gum and walk at the same time kind of approach, so. Um, I guess it would be a, one of these. Anyway. Oh, she's back in here now, okay. I see. Yeah, just the, you know, I resolve to stay with him even to the end. I, I find that very touching. Uh, okay, so are they going to show Millicent on here somewhere? She was at the prayer room and she's still there. I don't see her on the map, but maybe they just don't show her. Well, she was at the prayer room, but then she was, you know, when we got down here, you know, we fought her sisters. I don't think this is right. Uh, you know what? Let me, um, by the power of Google, let me get my browser going real quick. Let me just type in Millicent. All right, so which one am I trying to get? This actually might be the right one. Maybe it's the other direction, though. Because we are, you know... So I was just Googling it, and I think she's at, you know, basically where we helped her fight her sisters. So that's over there. It would have been funny if I just stepped off the ledge and into the rot. <laughs> um...
Now, if she's not here, then I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no, there she is. Okay. Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. But this is where things end. I paused to even tell you. But I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The Scarlet Rot rides now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse-laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. Let me the scarlet soon, curse laden. I wouldn't want such a thing. So again, you know, it, <laughs> most NPC quests are like that. Okay, so now she's showing up. Let's get to the drainage again. And um, yeah, so the the if I should bloom as a flower, I think that's sort of the. Mm, uh, Melania thing that you know when you kill her first form she is reborn into the flower and I think there's only one at a time I, I don't clearly don't <laughs> know the lore but there is I think something of like a rebirth cycle even there so let's go back I think since she was mentioning about passing maybe it's interesting that we can't lock onto that thing, even though... I'm hoping it was enough to just sort of teleport and reload. Yeah. So yeah, she pulled the needle out herself and said, you know what, I'm ready. Which, you know, that's... That's uh, what a lot of NPC quests are like. You know, they, they just... This ending, they're just brutal. So, here's the thing. We need that gold needle to cure ourselves of frenzy. We can also, I think, use that needle here to get another ancient... Somber dragon, blah, blah, blah. The question is, can we do both? So let me, you know, again, I apologize. Uh, unalloyed gold needle. Let me just look that up. And then the question is, which one do we do? Do we get another somber ancient dragon, blah, 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 blah and then... So I wonder, yeah, can we do both? I believe. So what do we do? Let me, you know, let me double check. Um, your three finger. Use Mikella's needle in the boss. Do I have Mikella's needle? Mekela's, however you say it. Um, 
Because maybe maybe it's two separate needles, and I could have already cured it. I thought it was the same needle. And I've been maybe misinformed this whole time, which would not be the first time for anything. Uh, I don't even know. Key items, maybe? Unalloyed gold needle. Gold sewing needle, that doesn't help us. So the question is then, where do you get... Mikola's needle? Or did I already mess it up because we have the gold needle and it's too late? Oh, you know what we have to do? Okay. Um, so it looks like the nice thing is we get to do both. Right, because we use one to get the other. We get the stone. What do I... Key items. I just wonder what it says. I feel like we're missing a couple of tears. That maybe doesn't show up here. Uh, so yeah, in order to cure the frenzy, we need to get back over to Farum Azula. And I forget which one. I think it was this one. So before I, let me, uh, maybe I put it in here. Yeah, so let's see. I don't know if this is the right one. I don't think it is, actually. I think, or is it going the other way? I forget. I can't remember where you have to drop off the ledge. And none of this seems like the right place. Oh, unless you have to run through the... Maybe you have to... Yeah, 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 you gotta kill a couple of guys. Hmm. 
Oh, he's over there. It's like, where's that guy? I thought I just killed him, but all right, there's two. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh man, I forgot. <laughs> There's no elevator there. <laughs> I don't deserve to retrieve my lost ruins. All right, <laughs> let's try that again. This time with 40% less nose diving down an elevator shaft. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Melania has been taken down in this run, but I just ran face first off of a. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Obviously, I can't be trusted not to fall down an elevator shaft, so let me send that back up. everybody yeah last time the other guy was over here and I missed him all right so yeah we just got to fall off here I remember the first time I screwed that up because you want to fall here. I wonder if you could like use the cat's talisman or if there's some other is there something like cotton some kind of cotton you can use to soften the blow from falls if you don't have the talisman I, I don't I feel like I've encountered that somewhere but I've never used it Uh, did I put the gold needle on my... I did. Okay. So yeah, you lie down. Uh, we've been here before. It's kind of a cool, again, a cool cutscene, you know, time reverses. And uh, so as you can see, like, we can walk around and nothing's going to happen. It, it's only when you get close. And there we are. We're cured. Uh, what do we got for souls? 5,000 rank because I lost. I'm... I'm just curious. Oop. This isn't... <laughs> a serious run. But let's see what happens. I, I, I just, it's, it's not a serious run because I don't remember any of its moves. It gets very complicated. It can, it's a two phase fight that a lot starts to happen. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so there's a lot going on with this fight. And so the chances of me just doing it in one is zero. But I'm just curious, what does a bubble do to this guy? When you can get right up his crack and Hit him for real, like, because he's such a big target, he's going to get hit with everything. Oop. Did he get stunned? I've heard people refer to this bubble thing as, like, the dragon killer, so that's why I was kind of curious. Time that perfectly wrong. And 
And I don't know if you need to get to phase two halfway or you gotta take him all the way down for phase. Like, he's just gonna butt slam me here, isn't he? Oh, it's, oh no, we're into phase two. So you gotta sort of watch where that is because he's gonna come in and come right at you. Which is a shame because <laughs> had I been able to dodge that, we had a decent run there. You know what? So let's uh, let's let's stop it here. Um, I might try that again. You know, but let's uh, let's call this session here. I, I, we got a lot done, and there's there's literally nothing now preventing us from just beelining for uh, the end game and uh, seeing what happens. But that dragon fight went a lot better than I thought. So maybe I'll try it one more time and uh, see how it goes. So thanks again, and uh, talk soon. Bye bye.